Hi everyone, so happy you're joining us. Today we're heading to Orchid's Garden. It's one of the oldest dim sum places in town and is synonymous with great food. Welcome to Let's Eat Vegas, a guide to Las Vegas restaurants, buffets, and other eating establishments, showing you the good, the bad, and the delicious. This has been one of our favorite places for dim sum for many years. The first to open its doors in 2006. Definitely a local's favorite. It's always consistent and has amazing food. Circling carts, rolling around like an attack of sharks in a feeding frenzy. You're no longer in Vegas. You've been transported to another place in town. Chive cake is always one of our favorite dim sum, and they do a great job with it here. The flavor excites your taste buds with umami goodness. They're very moist, and the pork and shrimp is so juicy and nicely seasoned with fresh garlic and garlic chives then steam to perfection, and finally fry till golden brown. We like to get here at lunch when they first open, so everything is first made. This is just so fresh. Look how juicy it is on the inside, and piping hot. There's a burst of umami in your mouth that elevates your taste buds to another level. This is an amazing dumpling. Tasting these always takes me back to the days of my childhood with my mom. It was my first time for dim sum. I was 16, and she took me to a strange little place on the edge of town where strange little ladies wheeled strange little carts, filled with strange little offerings. From table to table they rolled, mumbling unintelligible broken English that somehow my mom understood. Once tasting and falling in love with the chive cake, it imprinted a memory so strongly in my mind that to this day it brings me back, being that 16-year-old boy once again. One bite and I traveled to another place in time when I shared this little treat, tea, and conversation with my mother. Through the years, the mystique of dim sum has remained a constant, as well as the unintelligible English of the cart ladies. Daikon cake is similar to a taro cake. Boiled radish root is turned into a mash and combined with rice flour and sausage to create a delicious glutinous cake that's then fried. It's very hard to describe these wonderful little treats. You just have to taste them yourself. Some daikon radish cakes are made with taro, but today our server, Wing, tells me these are made with radish at Orchid's Garden. Though said to be an acquired taste, I love them from the first time I ever tasted one. They're so full of flavor. These resemble a potato pancake in texture with tiny bits of bacon like Chinese sausage in them. Taro root is not often used anymore as it once was in China because it has a negative association with being poisonous when not being fully cooked or in a semi-raw state. I remember learning back as a child in school reading some story that the Indians fed it raw to the Spaniards in an attempt to kill them. On the menu, they call this next item shrimp puff. However, the word puff implies lighter than air, and this thing is anything but. The woman wheeling the cart called them shrimp wonton, and that sounds like a more appropriate name. They're little wontons filled with chopped shrimp in an egg white and cornstarch mix with little else, just maybe some salt and light garlic. I enjoyed the simplicity of this dish and they disappeared in just one bite. The hagao here is wonderfully fresh without any fishy taste. The chopped prawns are mouthwateringly scrumptious. Known for being a beautiful, almost silvery, translucent dumpling, this dish is said to be the test of a truly masterful chef in China because it's so hard to perfect the dough so that one can see through it without making it into a gummy mess. The skin should be practically invisible without breaking when you eat them. These hagao are a work of art. And no, they're not paying me to say this. Trust me, I'll always tell you the truth when it comes to food. I absolutely love these hagao. Tofu shrimp. Honestly, I hated these. I thought there was something else when I ordered them. There's that broken English again. I could certainly use my mother's translation skills right about now. Anyway, I misunderstood the server and was thinking they were soy wrapped little treats with ground pork and shrimp on the inside and a bonus mound of chopped shrimp on the top but they were not. Pan-fried noodles, just that, pan-fried noodles. Fresh homemade rice noodles rolled up and stir-fried in soy sauce till they get a nice char on the outside and a rich umami flavor. Topped with white pepper and salt, I love the simplicity of this dish. The noodles are great, so fresh and chewy. Shrimp ball, these are always one of my favorite dim sum items. I did, however, notice that they've shrunk noticeably in size since the last time I dined here, but the flavor was the same. The ground shrimp formed into a ball and then fried with crispy shredded wontons was so good. 
Well, how could that not be good? It's served with a mayo sauce that really makes it even richer and yummier than it already is to begin with. You surely don't want to miss this dish if they wheel it past your table. Grab one and gobble it up. You won't be sorry. Sugarcane shrimp uses the same filling that was in the shrimp ball we just had. I make these at home a lot. They're so easy to make, yet so delicious. They're a mixture of shrimp with egg white and cornstarch, salt, and not much more. Sugarcane shrimp is this mixture rolled around a piece of sugarcane and deep fried. Then they're served with mayo for dipping. One of us does not like this taro meatball dish, so I had to force myself to eat all of these strange little gems. I love the abstract, almost cotton candy-like outside texture. It looks as though it's from another world. The inside is a light, fluffy, Chinese seasoned garlic meatball. Soy and white pepper are the predominant flavor profiles of these little goodies. They're great when you put chili on top, but then that's true of anything, at least for me, since you know of my chili addiction. I'm not sure why they call these meatballs, but regardless, I love these little glutinous beauties. They're another one of my all-time favorite treats at dim sum. I remember as a teen tasting them for the first time. I wasn't really quite sure what to think. It was more of a textural thing. But then I thought about them and craved them the next time I went to the dim sum. My mom loved these. She had a very sophisticated palate and had a taste for strange and unusual things. Wow, I love the thick doughy inside that envelops the ground pork and shrimp. And they're also wonderfully crisp on the outside. Perhaps they could have had a little more filling and then they would have been perfect. But the taste is great and they are so fresh. Shrimp with green pepper. I love, love, love these. The shrimp once again here, not fishy at all. So fresh and firm. Nice mix of garlic and some sort of umami rich flavoring in the shrimp mixture. And the green pepper really sets off this dish. So crisp and crunchy. I also love the sauce. It's hard to describe. Ever so slightly sweet, but not in an offensive way. It's glutinous without being stodgy. And it's wonderfully salty and rich with soy. Hashtag perfection on a plate. Beef noodle wrap. It's very good today because it's fresh. We got here when they opened and everything had just been prepared and put out onto the carts. I love the homemade noodles. And the filling is a mixture of ground beef, soy sauce, and garlic that's just fantastic. The sweet soy sauce on top is really perfect as well. In fact, I always order extra sweet sauce just for dipping whenever I'm having dim sum. Pork buns. Sadly, not the best I've ever had. The brioche outer bun is not as good as it could be. This is not a standout dish here, it's just okay. I've had pork buns in bakeries here in our Chinatown that are so good your toes will curl and your eyes will go back in your head. But not these. Also, the chow shu pork is almost non-existent inside. It's a shame, because they look so beautiful from the outside. Bao! Wow! These are picture perfect. Light, airy dough with that wonderful yeasty smell. The scent of the chow shu is almost intoxicating. Bao seems to be all the rage these days at all the buffets in Las Vegas, and you can see why. There's so much pork in these buns, they're bursting in porky, five-spice goodness. Since I was a kid, Bao has been my weakness, and I'm powerless over these. Tendon here is as good as anywhere I've ever had it. Cooked till perfectly tender, it just melts in your mouth. They're not afraid of garlic here, and that's a good thing. I love my food very well seasoned. In Asia, many women attribute their beautiful skin to eating this glutinous dish. It's the food that contains the highest amount of collagen. It's so good for every part of your body. This is the healthiest thing you can ever eat at dim sum, though it is an acquired taste. Custard bun, sometimes referred to as pineapple buns in China because of the outward appearance resembling a pineapple. This is one of our longtime favorite things at dim sum. Well, I can say Orchid's Garden does not disappoint. The inside is a smooth, soft, almost liquid-like custard, rich and so sweet. The bun is nice and flaky, like a wonderfully crisp and light pastry. It's the kind you dream about, for those of us who dream about such things. Coconut buns are great. I love the brioche outer bun. It's strange because the brioche on the pork buns should be made the same way, yet I didn't care for it, but on these, it's delicious. Who knows, maybe it's the interaction with the coconut that makes them behave so differently, but I like them. The filling is a sticky mixture of sugary coconut and some sort of paste that binds it together. 
They're like an Asian mounds bar with brioche in place of chocolate. They are, as Mary Berry says, scrummy. In conclusion, we love the food here at Orchid's Garden. This is our first time back since before all the shutdowns a few years ago. And it's clear to see why it used to be our favorite place for dim sum. It's as I said before, like stepping back in time and conjures up those old feelings I had as a lad with my mother in that seedy little dim sum place she first took me to. I think you should give Orchard Gardens a try. You're gonna love it. And make sure to ask for Wing and tell her Let's Eat Vegas sent you. I know we're all guilty of watching videos on YouTube and not subscribing. As a reminder, it's free to subscribe and it really helps us bring you more videos. So please like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notifications bell. It means a lot to us. Until we eat again, bon appetit.